Hello guys, I'm Futureal. I stream five days a week over on twitch.tv slash Futureal. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at a concept that I created during the Diablo 2 Holy Grail Barb Only Level 99 project that I would like to call Weekend Shenanigans. Over the weekends, I do play the game from time to time off stream. However, I didn't want to farm any area that could drop me a significant item. So that would mean no item that is treasure class 87, no item that is treasure class 84. These items are pretty rare and I would like to I would like them to drop on stream for the first time for the hype and you know to have the clip and everything like that. So I tried to figure out what could I do over my weekend time or my evening time in the game that would not risk dropping things that were very rare but still improve my character. Well, there is going to be a short introduction after this in the actual footage that is from my stream and I th hope that will explain it better. Enjoy the video and also don't forget to guess along with the video. It's a lot of fun, I hope you will enjoy. Click all the buttons and until the next time, take care and I will see you then. Um, welcome to the first episode of Weekend Shenanigans, where we, after a couple of years, three years of being part of the Diablo 2 community, have kind of been made fun of a little bit over the years for advocating, should I say, specifically the most efficient classes in the game. Um, we're not going to go into that discussion now. But the whole point is I don't only play the most efficient characters in the game. Um, I don't play the most efficient way in the game. I have a lot of focus on knowing what's better um, so that you don't claim that something that is, uh, is bad is good. The knowledge part of that discussion is much more important to me than than actually playing the most optimal build at all times. So I started thinking, um, what can I do over the weekend that I would normally not do? Hmm. Let's see here. How can we improve my character? Because, you know, we have the enigma. We have the good grief. Can't do anything about that. We have the godly caster amulet. Can't do anything about that. But we don't have a 40 immortal kings. Okay. We don't have a... We don't have a 141 Shaco. We don't have 40 chance cards. We don't have 30 nagels. And we definitely... We don't have 50 war traps only to round that up with we don't have a 40 geeds so by that being said what do we do about that well we log on to our entrusted uh, sockets 4 my barb that I used for uh, getting extra socket quests And we started running. And where did we start running? Well, I set myself a goal. I'm not going to tell you what the goal is, but I can tell you that we smashed it. We started on Andariel. And then we did Countess. And we did Summoner. And we did Mephisto. And... I think uh, I think you're going to like the outcome. But first of all, I would like to say something. The first thing you do when you uh, log on to your character that has been simply running through the game is to go pick up your uh, your skill quests. You know, because when you're farming, you want to have a, uh, a couple of skills. It doesn't hurt to have extra skills on your whirlwind barb when you're farming. So just pay attention to the first clip. It's going to happen very fast. 
but let's just say that uh, that's an indication of the 12 and a half minutes that you guys are about to see.
and here we are guys at the end where you saw what I was doing last weekend so uh, this is probably where um, where this uh, whole project or this whole event thing uh, becomes a little bit more clear to you guys uh, the weekend shenanigans is going to be a series, well, it has the potential to be a, a series uh, of me playing suboptimal areas to improve my current character. You know, I'm not going to go and farm something mindless, um, something that's not going to make me better. I wouldn't farm war traps, I wouldn't farm nadir rings, I wouldn't do that sort of stuff if I was grailing efficiently all the time. I would just, you know, pick it up when I found it. Um, but I don't want to play my character off stream, my main high level character. That's also why you didn't see me um, do any Nilathuk. Because um, it's a high level area. I don't want to rob you guys from seeing, you know, amazing drops and that sort of stuff. So this is, it's always going to be some sort of mid level area that can still pro improve my character. And, um, you know, be something I can do over the weekend. When I have a half hour free, I sit down, do some runs. And then I make a compilation out of it. And then now is where you guys come in. Because now we are going to make some space in our file. So let's do this and save. Oops, where did that go? So... We are on our sockets number four, the legendary sockets number four. Basically picked the highest level barb that I had, chucked all the gear that I could on him. You know, this is all my magic find gear. It's even my torch, uh, one of my annies, grief and the face blade, high lords, laying of hands, FCR ring. So we're playing 105 with Enigma, Shaco, the war traps, gold wrap, the whole shebang. Currently running 623 magic find in the whirlwind build um, without find item because I was only farming bosses, so find item doesn't work. So, what did we get? Well, here is all the items that you have seen listed in a row as I found them. And there's a small gap here, because this indicates that I was done with uh, Andariel. Moved on to Countess, Summoner, and finally at Mephisto. So I'm going to take a couple of seconds, a few seconds, to remove... Um, let's do like this. Uh, I'm going to remove these charms. So I have more space in my inventory for identifying. Uh, I can move this charm over here. So we're just quickly going to empty these out. I would have done this before, uh, but as you might have heard, I did have massive problems with the software that uh, does the compiling of these clips. Yesterday night, I didn't get to bed until 3, and I had to get up an hour early today to compile the last uh, the last file. For some reason, it didn't like big file sizes. So, uh, what we are going to do is as follows. Uh, I'm going to pick one of the items, and it's going to be set amulets. Who are we kidding? Set amulets is the least interesting item because it's only the Arcanos. It's, you know, it's it's nothing cool, it's nothing amazing. It's just a tick off the list. So I'm going to put all the set amulets in my inventory and then I will write the word START with capital letters in the chat and you will guess how many out of all these amulets will be an Arcanas amulet. You can guess as many as you want, of course. You can even guess zero 
if you were uh, negative Nancy. Uh, I think there are about um, nine set amulets. Yeah, all these are set amulets. All are green. So we're going to identify all of them at the same time. So you have to wait until I say start, because I'm only going to give you 30 seconds to write in your guess. And whoever will be correct will be awarded one point. I'm not going to tell you what the prize is yet. Uh, but there will be a prize at the end. So, in th in the case that no one guesses correctly, this is the first round. In the case that no one is correct, or gets it exactly correct, the person that is closest will get the point. And this is an absolute truckload of set amulets. I have actually forgotten how many I had found. So we actually need to put these in the cube. So I'm going to give you guys the count as soon as I get through all these set amulets here. I think there are nine. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Someone can uh, verify that for me. Impossible. Okay, set, 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 and set. And that's the last page. So let me throw out the torch, the Annie, and for now, the identify book. Um, you have Siverbs and Vidalas. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have reached eight. So 17 was our last. Okay. So this is as follows 10, 20, 30, 5, 47. This is 47 set amulets. Every single one of them can be Arcanas. Now, when I write start in capital letters in the chat, you have 30 seconds to leave your guess. The winner will get one point against the final prize. Right, get going guys, leave your guesses. Okay. It seems that we are done. I'm going to write stop. Only the guesses inside that start and stop will be valid. Um, I think personally, you most of you have gotten pretty high. Going over 10 is uh, pretty crazy. But you know, okay, let's check out how many... Good to see you. If any, Arcanos, we are going to find. Angelic, Erathas, Vidalas, Cathans, Vidalas, Angelic, Vidalas, Vidala, Siverb, Siverb, Angelic, Vidala, Cathan, Cathan, Vidala, 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 Telling of Beads, Siverbs, Tal Rushas, Vidala, Angelic, Cathans, Siverbs, Angelic, 
Telling of Beads, Angelic, Erathos, Vidala, Eratha, Sivverbs, Vidala, Angelic, Angelic, Telling of Beads. Twelve remaining. Eratha, Sivverbs, Angelic, R. Canas sign. We got it. We got it. So, how many will it be? Tancred, Tancred, Erathus, Angelic, Tancred, Cathans, Cathans, Cathans. One. So, where's the stop? Who had the lowest guess? Dark Humility, with a guess of two. My guess was going to be three. Oh, did Raven get uh, guess two as well? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Raven and Dark. Uh, dark Humility, one point and uh, where the f fudge is Raven's guess oh there one point save So, scoreboard is as follows. Raven and Dark Humility, one point each. And uh, we are going to stick this bastard on the new items page with our Blood Raven's charge. Okay. So, what do you think, guys? Um, I want to do uh, War Traps and... Um, and uh, Geeds last. I think those two are the most interesting ones. Should we do uh, unique amulets now? You want to do unique amulets? All right, let's... Um, let's do the unique amulets. It's going to be a lot. Okay, so... Uh, we're gonna do the same thing here. There are currently three unique, or I'm missing. I'm missing four unique amulets. I'm missing four. I'm missing Eye of Etlich. I'm missing the Rising Sun. I'm missing Crescent Moon, and I'm missing Metal Grid. But none of these can be Metal Grid. So that's very important for you to know. None of these can be Metal Grid. So what you are effectively guessing, how many out of these amulets are going to be Eye of Etlich, the Rising Sun, and Crescent Moon? That's three uniques out of a total of 12 possibilities. All combined. It doesn't matter if I, if I find it. If I fi let's say I find one Eye of Etlich, one more, even if I have it, is still going to count as two. So there is an absolute truckload of um, unique amulets here. I think that was the last. So that's 8 times 3, that's 24. Alright, we have 24 chances. I don't think I have missed any. 24 chances. It's the total number. The total number of Eye of Etlich, Rising Sun, Crescent Moon. 
guessed in total. I need one number guess. If no one gets the exact number, it's the closest that will get it. You can start guessing now. You have 30 seconds to leave your guess. Four, five, three, seven. Mm, I think you are a little bit conservative here, guys. It is, um, it is three different ones. That's a lot of amulets. But who am I to say? Last five seconds, guys. And we're done. We have it. All right. Uh, let me go identify this. And let's see here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these in the cube if they are one that we're gonna keep. Nokosan. Mahim Oak. Nokosan. Nokosan. Crescent Moon. New item. That's one. Atmas. The Rising Sun. That's two. Nokosan. Mahim Oak. Mahim Oak. Saracen's Chance. Saracen's Chance. Saracen's Chance. Mahim Oak. Crescent Moon. That's three. Atmas. Eye of Etlich. Four. Eye of Etlich. Five. Nokozan. Cat's Eye. Crescent Moon. Six. Crescent Moon. Seven. Eye of Etlich. Eight. And Mahim Oak. We have eight. So who guessed eight? Octo guessed eight. He is the only one that guessed eight. Okay, he's gonna get a point. One point. There we go. Save. All right. Uh, I need a little bit of a second here to sort out some of the um, logistics uh, here. Okay, so Mahim Oak, where are you? Yeah, Mahim Oak, you want that one. Saracens. I have all Nokosans. Mahim Oak, I had. Saracens chance there. Mahim Oak, I had. Saracens with that skin, I had. Nokosan, I had. Atmos Scarab. That one I have. Mahim Oak. Nokosan. Mahim Oak. Nokosan. Nokosan. Atmos Scarab with that skin. Mm, that is a, that is a good point. Although, um, yeah, nah, it's not fair. We're gonna give it one point. So Rasen's chance. Where are you? Ah, oh, we do have the Penta skin and Cat's Eye. That one we do have. Okay, so I'm gonna vendor all these. To uh, even if um, I am overburdened, even if this is not like super efficient, and you guys are waiting for me a little bit, uh, I do want to pick up that little bit of extra gold. It's hard to come by gold for a barb that constantly has a full inventory. So.
Oh. Okay. So, let me just... Um, yeah, I just got three telling a beads, I think, there. Let me just quickly look over. Uh, these are the new ones. Let me see here. Let's put these in the new page. I have Etlich. Uh, obviously, we don't need two with the same skin, so that one can go. Crescent Moon. Crescent Moon. Crescent Moon with the same skin, you can go. Rising Sun. I have Etlich. And Crescent Moon with the same skin, that one can go. Okay. So. Um, okay, I'm gonna get some items out of the way. Uh, just because they are kind of annoying me. Uh, this is gonna be identified. That one goes. The Shaco goes. Uh, what do we have here? These go. The Combat Skiller goes. Uh, Shaco, Shaco, Shaco. Malrune. Skull Collector goes. Okay. Swap back to that page real fast. And pick up this. So this one is not max, so we're gonna vendor that one. And that is the last page, so we Blade Barrier. There we go. There, new, new. Gonna put the Shakos away for now. Um, I don't know if you guys saw we g uh, the defense on the Shakos that we got. Uh, we got five Shakos. 98 defense, 109 defense, 135, 136. So not quite perfect, but definitely good rolls. So I just have OCD to identify all these. And go back here. Dragon shield is new. And we have the skiller with 19 life that you saw. It's well with the 22 over here. We have... Oh, it's, it's not Mang Song. It's Skull Collector. And we have two Malrunes. And then we have the Claws. D d did you guys see the Claws? Because I can't remember if I clipped them. You did not see the Claws. Okay, that's going to be interesting. So... Uh, I spent three years in this game on Pluggy. I have never found the five light sentry claw. And then I get this. And then literally 20 minutes later, I drop that. It's like, what in the hell is going on? I got two, five, <laughs> five, five claws. But okay. That being that. Yeah, no IS, no sockets. They're not, they're not amazing, but you know, still a cool find. Um, I'd say that we do uh, rings, yeah? I think rings are the ones that are coming up now. So there is not. Um, we're not gonna. Um, we're not gonna find any new rings. Uh, we have every ring. No wait, I'm lying. Wow, I actually. There's gonna be awarded 
there's going to be awarded two points on this uh, on this roll right here. There is going to be awarded two points. So I need two guesses from you guys. And the guesses are going to be a little bit intricate. The one that I'm missing, that I can get, is Bulkatho's Wedding Band. That's the only ring that we can get. We're also missing the Wisp, but we can't get the Wisp. So, the first number you're going to put down when I ask you guys to start is how many Bulkatho's Wedding Band will we find? The total amount of Bulkatho's Wedding Band out of these rings is what you are going to guess for. That is the first number. The second number is what is the stats of the best Nagel ring that we're going to get? So this guess is going to award two points if you get both of them right. So, first number total number of Bulkathos wedding band rings. Second number the stats of the best Nagel ring. We don't even have room for all of them. Attack rating and magic find. That's important because we're gonna get a 30 magic find. There's no there's I you know I really really doubt that we're gonna go through all this and not find the 30. That would be weird. You know, I'm gonna accept it, but it's gonna be weird. So Get ready, guys. You can start guessing now. You need to put in the attack rating on the Nagel ring. Must contain attack rating. Attack rating is from 50 to 75. Magic find from 15 to 30. 10 more seconds. Get your guess in. All right, gonna, people are still guessing. I'll give him a little bit of time here. And H was the last. We have stopped. Okay. All right, I'll I'll accept it, uh, Raven. I'll accept it. All right, let's see. I'm gonna have to do this in two rounds, um, simply because we we couldn't fit all the rings. Raven, 19 to 13. Carry and Wind, Manold, Nagel, 20 MF, 28 MF, 16 to 48 Raven, Manold. 2650 Nagel, Darf, Manold, 1659 Nagel, Manold, 2173, 2373, Dwarf Star, Dwarf Star, 1765 Nagel, 15174, 2232. That raven, uh, raven, I'm gonna keep. 2966. Goodbye, 28. Carrion Wind. Dwarf Star. 25. Raven. Manold. 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 3057. So these are our two best ones. 2966. Just beats off that one. Manold. 1665. 2962.
Dolcathos Wedding Band, 5%. Dwarf Star. Dwarf Star. Let's do the last... Uh, was it four? No, eight. And us throw these in here. Just to get them done. Yep, I will do the cube as well. Don't worry. Manold. 2672. Carrying wind. Manold. 1764. Dwarf star. 17245 Raven. Stone of Jordan. Thirty fifty three. Oh, that was a rare ring. It was actually not a bad rare ring. Wow. Some more attack rating and this would be useful. <laughs> okay. 2456. 1966. Dwarf Star. Manold. Manold. 7015. Dwarf Star. Manold. Manold. And Dwarf Star. Okay, so we got one. It's a lot of people that guessed one. Okay, so we're gonna start here. We are gonna start here. Uh, Trevso. One point. Stu. One point. Finesse. One point. Dark Humility. Currently leading with a one extra point. Two points in total. Chubango. One point. Kedrick. One point. Uh, anyone after Kedrick? Tribble. Epic Pandora. One point. Eox Staker. One point. We're gonna see here. Uh, H. I'm just gonna say H. That's too good. One point. And Carnivore. I will allow that one late entry, but to um, but to weigh up for the um, the lag. All right, our best Nagel ring is thirty fifty seven. So. Thirty sixty eight, thirty fifty nine, thirty fifty nine is really close. We have thirty sixty, thirty seventy five, thirty sixty nine. 
3063. I think it's gonna be the 3059 Octo. Yeah, 3059 from Octo is the closest. 1 more point for Octo, shared lead with Dark Humility. So, we did get the Bukathos, a new item, and we are going to save this uh Ravenfrost. Uh let me um let me just uh, clear out here. Two Nagel Rings we are obviously gonna save. And we're gonna take one with higher attack rating in case we can drop some uh, some magic find. Okay. So let's pick up all this garbage and complete the I can't carry it. the page and then we're gonna move on to the next one. Page 52. So we're looking for a uh, Nagel ring with that skin. And we're looking for one with the blue skin. No Nagel ring with the blue skin. Okay. We're looking for a dwarf star with that skin. There we have it. That's the Stone of Jordan. So we're looking for a Raven with the blue. Dwarf Star, Manold, Manold, Dwarf Star. Okay. Carrion Wind. Nagel, Manold. Dwarf Star, Manold. Raven. We have a Raven. Uh. All right, so we're not there. Yeah, if he didn't guess too many BKs, he would actually be in the lead. That is correct. All right, so we are pretty much halfway in this uh, guessing game right here. Um, yeah, it's just like the, the completionist uh, in me kind of forces me to do this. So, we're looking for a Nagel with that one. Yeah, because I haven't saved yet. 21... Yeah, we're gonna do the 21 Nagel there. Okay, Ravenfrost with the blue. Any? Yes, there is one here. Not a bad one, actually. Carrion Wind. No. Carrion Wind with this. Carrying wind with that. No. And this is nature's piece. Okay, that we didn't find at all. Uh, let me save the file. Apologies if someone will be outside of the list. Yeah, there's two people that are outside of the list at the moment. I apologize for that. I don't have room, unfortunately. Okay, next on the agenda I think that we should do chance cards I think we have four pairs of chance cards no we have three pairs of chance cards Yes, we have three pairs of chance cards. Uh, give me just one second. I can't remember. Um, no, actually, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. All right. Three pairs. What would the stats be on the best pair? On the best pair of chance cards out of these three. How much magic find are we going to get? 
20 to 40. Only the best pair. And you can leave your guesses now. All right, and Raven is the last with the 39. Can't guess twice, Finessi. I would get you disqualified. Let me just uh, empty my coffee here. Mm, cold coffee, excellent. All right, so the current uh, chance cards we have are 36. So we're hoping to get an upgrade to that, of course. So let's see. What are we gonna get? First one. 27. Garbage tier. Second one. 36. The same. F. And the last... 34. Congratulations, you guys, the guest 36. You are going to be awarded one point. So, yeah, we're going to keep those just in case. We want an extra one. Uh, so let's start here. 36. Who got 36? 38, 38, 38. MNT. MNT LXX one point Ronson one point H oh H is catching up here it's on two points So we have three people. Let's actually uh, do this and do that and do this and do that. And then we have put the guys with the most points on the top. So three, po three guys with two points on top. All right, next item. What do you want to see? Do you want to see Geeds? Or do you want to see... Uh, war Travelers? You want to see War Travs first? I want to see War Travs last. I think war traps would be much more fun to do last. All right, what do we have? No more. Uh, no more geeds up here. That, this is only keys. And war traps go here. Okay. So, we cannot put the war traps... Um, no, we cannot put the geeds in our inventory. For obvious reasons. So, let's go fix the identification tome. Okay. Same rules. But, since the, um, there are so many, I think that the, um, the chances that we're going to get a 39 or a 40 is very high. Therefore, I'm going to have to ask you to guess the magic find and the reduced vendor cost. Reduced vendor cost 
goes... Oh, that was the wrong one. Reduced vendor cost goes from 10 to 15. Magic find from 20 to 40. I need to, to guess both of those. Ignore the gold. Gold will not be in the equation at all. Magic find and vendor prices. You can start guessing now. Some people going a madness with 4015s here. If you guys guessed before I wrote start in the chat, please post your guess again. You have to wait until I write start, because if not, it's going to be impossible to to see where it stops and ends, especially when there's multiple items. All right. About f five seconds left. Two, one. And Judgmentos was the last guess. Here we go. Let's ID these. 37, 14. Not a bad one. 31. 34. 30. 37, 11. 34, 15. 30, 13. 29, 14. 34, 10. 36, 11. 39, 12. New leader. 39, 12. Last one. 29, 10. 39 magic find. 12 vendor. Did anyone have 39, 12? 39, 14. 39.13 Two people with 39.13 39.12 Ronson Thirty-nine twelve Ronson Picks up another point. And he joins the boys at the top. Let's do a save. So there's four guys. Four guys tied for first place at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna save a couple of these. A couple of these geeds. Now why am I saving it? Absolutely no point saving it. Uh, I'm saving this one with 15 vendor cost. Was there another one with 15? 31, 15. 15, 15, 34, 15. Okay, let's save the 3415. There we go. Okay. And now, at least for me, this is the most exciting. This is definitely the most exciting with the war travelers. And we are going to roll that one at the end. Let's put that one on page 100 where we can immediately roll it. No, actually, 
Let's just roll it now to get it out of the way. One socket, okay. You're out of the way. So this is just uh, vendor, vendor food, and keys. Yes, nothing left. Okay. Five pairs of war traps. Which will be the highest magic find on these five war traps? Highest magic find only. You can start now. 30 to 50. 30 to 50 is the roll. We have five chances. You only need to guess on the highest one. You think I'm going to get five 30s? Well, aren't you a negative Nancy? Ten seconds, if you want to leave your guess. A lot of people guessing 47, 48. Some 46s in there. One person squeezing out the 50. And... We have a stop. Fex with the last guess. As you get, as you guys know, our current one is 37. And we're obviously hoping to, uh, to upgrade that. Here we go. First pair. 35. That was bad. Second pair. 41. Okay, a small upgrade. Well, let's leave it here. Third pair. 42. <laughs> An even smaller upgrade. Fourth. Second last pair, 39. And the last pair of war traps is 46. 46 wins. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, which was the best second pair? The 42s, right? Yeah, 42s. Okay, and I'm gonna start taking one of these to the scrapyard every time. So, who guessed 46? We have Bum Bummer. And we have Judgmentos. And I think that's it. And they, that is both of them are on one point, which means that there is a four-way tie. There's a four-way tie for first place. So let's remove all the guys that got one point. Let's space this out so it's easier to see. I I can't recall Finesse. That's too far uh, back in time. I can't even say if he wrote if he wrote one BK or if it was in time or whatever. All right, so how do we deal with this? 
This is a pretty interesting uh, predicament that I didn't exactly uh, that I didn't exactly uh, foresee that it's going to be tied. We need to find something uh, that allows. I should have saved the thresher. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Oh, I like that finesse. I like that finesse. I'm actually going to do something in those lines. I'm going to sacrifice a... Uh, yes, I'm going to socket something. For the tiebreaker. So we need something that can roll different sockets. What do we have? Do we even have anything? I guess we can roll the Colossus Bulge. That is a 50-50 for... Um, well, nothing except 50-50, yeah. Hmm. Oh, wait. That is actually true. You did, uh, Raven. I didn't see. There's actually a five-way tie. Hmm, so how do we do this? I'm thinking as hard as I've ever thought in my life. How do we actually... I mean, because we need uh, we need something that has five options. We need something that has five options. If I would socket something that can have five sockets, it would kind of be okay, but I think most people would guess guess uh, would guess five because you have double uh, craft and ammy. Craft an Ami and just go from there. Oh, that's a good that's a good choice. Five to ten FCR. Well, actually, it would be five to twenty, and then the closest will win. And then I will just craft another amulet if uh, there's two people that are equally close. That's a good idea, Dark. I like that one. Uh, do I have uh, amulet sets? I do. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna log the... Um, I need to... Uh, log over... the stuff to my other barb. So that's the 39. And the torch. 39, torch, amulet, enigma, grief. Uh, no, but that was uh, that was a great uh, great suggestion, Dark. It made everything a lot easier. So let's go for, go for that. Super super simple, very very simple rules. Um, so this is gonna be it. Dark Humility H, Octo, Ronson, Raven of Sozo. When I write start, you will write down the amount of faster cast rate that will be on this. Amulet.
We have tiebreakers. We have plenty of tie tiebreakers. So if you guess the same thing, I can just craft more. If someone writes the number that you are guessing before you, you are not allowed to take that number. Closest will win if no one is correct. You can guess now. All right, there we have it. Six, seven, eight, nine. Dark Humility actually, in fact, guessed five or six, and Raven guessed ten or more. The guys in the middle only have one guess. Dark and Raven actually got out ahead. They got two guesses. That was very smart done. Very, very smartly done. No, Raven has anything above uh, above ten. Okay, uh, so let's go uh, gamble a couple of amulets. Do I have gold? Yeah. Good morning. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god, that would have been so hysterical. Imagine if this was two <laughs> two skills and ten FCR. <laughs> oh lord. That would have been insane. <laughs> well, I mean <laughs> it's not it's not very good, but that would have been crazy. Alright, so I'm gonna buy um I'm gonna buy three amulets. Uh yeah, there we go. Oh, that was that was hysterical. Okay, guys, time to sort out the tiebreaker. Right now, caster amulet. The amount of faster cast rate on this. Six or less dark humility. Seven Ronson. Eight Octo. Nine H. Ten or more Raven. Here we go. And it is eight faster cast rate. Octo wins. Was a crappy amulet. I am going to vendor it. But the winner is Octo. <laughs>